Hey guys, what would happen if we had access to the AI model with real-time updated information straight from the X? The old Twitter, that's exactly what we're going to unravel today, including how to obtain access. And there's more. Has anyone ever imagined seeing one of the biggest names in technology inside a milk carton like they had disappeared, ready to dive into a story combining memes, legal battles, and a touch of cutting edge technology. So stick around with me because this video promises to clarify all these issues and a bit more. Before we continue, remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video to stay updated. Your likes and subscriptions contribute to the growth of the project and as the project grows, I can bring you more interesting videos. Deal? Thank you for the support. Moving on, Elon Musk recently announced that he would make Grok's code available to everyone. If you're not aware, Grok is a sophisticated artificial intelligence model that utilizes Twitter data, now referred to as X. He did this sometimes because he needs to prove a point, to motivate himself, boost his ego, and also because Elon is putting considerable pressure on OpenAI. He even filed a lawsuit against them recently. I even made a video discussing this in detail. I will leave the link in the description and pin it in the first comment for those who wish to understand the reasons behind all this. If I forget to, send me a reminder comment saying, Rodrigo, you failed to respond. Here's the gist. OpenAI, which is supposed to be transparent, isn't actually that open and Elon wants to reveal this to everyone, even announcing this week he's going to disclose Grok's code. Elon went as far as labeling OpenAI a sham, so there's a blend of resentment and an attempt to make OpenAI truly transparent, showing that the intelligence, artificial intelligence, should be accessible to everyone. Not long ago, Grok posted on X instructing people to check out his bio, which is very interesting, and there was this thing about the chat GPT app saying that Grok had copied all his jokes. I couldn't understand why chat GPT would get involved in this situation. It seems like they're stepping into a minefield, but Elon Musk didn't miss the opportunity and already made a dig. In Elon's words, he talked more about this open aspect of open AI. He can't stop poking at open AI. He even posted a funny meme about it. In the meme, Sam Altman and Mira Morati are displayed, the CTO of OpenAI, who was recently in a rather awkward interview. They asked where the AI's training data came from and her reaction when the YouTube video was mentioned was priceless. She simply stated that if it's public and licensed, they would use it, but she didn't provide any details. It was noticeable that she seemed a bit uncertain or maybe she didn't want to reveal the source of the data. Moving on, this week there was a really interesting thing with Greg Brookman. He's always posting about his love for coding and I find his tweets really cool, but what's happening now is a meme with him. They put Greg into a milk carton saying he's missing. I find that very amusing. By the way, speaking of missing people, no one has seen Ilja Shutkever recently. Ilja is a computer scientist at OpenAI. He even tried to rebut the lawsuit that Elon Musk filed against OpenAI, but it seems like he really has disappeared. Let's see what happens. But Moving aside, let's talk about the model because it's quite interesting. If you want to download it, it's a pretty heavy torrent file. We're talking about a model with 314 billion parameters, something like 38 gigabytes. It uses a similar architecture to Mixels, has eight specialists, and is regulated by the Apache 2.0 license, which is great. They made all the code available so you can download and play around with it as much as you want even having a page with the code fully explained showing how to install and run it. I bet the LM Studio folks will provide support to Grok soon, but bear in mind with 314 billion parameters, it'll require substantial optimization to run locally. They published a blog post discussing Grok 1, making the weights and architecture accessible. I've personally tested Grok and well it's not as good as GPT-4, 
But what sets it apart is its real-time data access from X. It's still too early to make any claims about improved results, but it'll definitely be fascinating to see what people come up with this open source code. One perk of being on X is having access to a plethora of exclusive Twitter data. When Elon acquired Twitter, he deliberately cut off API access to numerous external services to reckon the value of this data. Grok is trained on a huge amount of text without being adjusted to anything specific and by the way without much censorship which is one of the flags defended by Elon Musk. That's a quick overview of what's going on. Leave your ideas and questions in the comments. I'd love to talk about the subjects of the video. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Indications of upcoming videos are popping up here right now that make perfect sense for you to watch. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you soon.